Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another Ross Reviews, where today we are in the last ever Grange here. This is the HSV Gen F2, and this is the SV edition, guys. So only 51, according to the pamphlet here by HSV, uh, were ever made here. This is the media car, so this is M01, so one of the very first to ever come out. And this thing is pretty damn special because the Grange is the top luxury you can get for a Holden. And, uh, you know, this is an HSV, the VF, they were so nice. The blacked out accents on this, the 20 inch black wheels, this is a special car. And just sitting in this guy's first impressions, you know, it's the VF interior here, it's absolutely bang on. Uh, you know, the leather suede on the dash, the faux carbon fiber in here, nice chunky wheel, the flat bottom. The seats feel really nice. Uh, you know, you do have HSV embroidered on the headrest here. I would have liked if they had to put, you know, some Grange embolsters on this thing. Uh, it, for whatever reason, it doesn't have the Magna Ride, this one. Uh, I don't think they gave it in the Grange. So the Grange really was kind of, I think at the end of its days, not really marketed anymore like it used to. And, you know, I guess people back then were really just, they were after the power, they were after the LSA, the GTS. And uh, unfortunately, this did get left behind a little bit. It did actually only get the LS3 up front. So it's uh, 340 kilowatts, talking about 570 Newton meters, uh, you know, naturally aspirated, the big 6.2 liter V8, rear wheel drive, and we do have the 6L80E here. So these were only available in a six speed auto, being the luxury Grange. Now being the Gen F2 here as well, this actually has flappy paddle shifters. So, you know, paddle shifters in a Grange, that is something you wouldn't really expect, but it is in here. And uh, it was something they added to the last, you know, the series two HSVs, uh, even in the GTSs, they did get paddle shifters. So they are a little bit laggy, but you know, it does give you a little bit more play with it. And, uh, but in general, you know, you stick this thing in sport mode, just plan it. You're probably going to get the best out of it. Yep, bimodal exhaust in this thing. Uh, you know, again, it did get this satin black finish on it, on the exhaust tips here. And when you get into it, it opens up and it actually does sound really good. You know, these LS3s are great V8s and uh, you know, they can make some good power. Now, being the Grange SV here, what you actually got was basically just a limited run. It's a sticker kit. You know, you've got blacked out badges on this. You've got some nice, uh, you know, Grange accents inside the cabin as well, SV badges. Sorry, uh, you got 20 inch Raptor wheels that were blacked out that really do make this look aggressive alongside with that front bumper that they changed on this model. And it, it's an aggressive looking thing. It's long, it's big, this thing is huge. And it's one of the last VFs here with an LS3. And it is just a real shame, you know, when you're sitting in these cars, this particular one, you know, the last range, and it's sad because they really were getting their shit together, HSV, when they started making these VFs. And you just can see from the aggressive statue of this thing, when you look at it, just the nice finish on the interior. You know, it's just good quality materials in here as well. You know, it's nice leather. It looks nice. You got a good infotainment system, heads up display. Uh, they were on the ball here. You know, you even got drive modes in this one. If only they had to, were able to continue on from this, it would have been quite amazing to see what they would have been having here in 2022. You know, it's such a shame they're gone. Ford as well. Yeah, it, it's a crying shame. And just having to go with the paddles here. And it moves, you know, this thing for nearly way in close to two ton this thing, it absolutely hammers. And there is a bit of lag, unfortunately, when you go up a gear, but downshifts are pretty reasonable. And again, you know, if only HSV had another go, 
they would have nailed that. And this thing with good paddle shifters with a quick snappy transmission would have been just so damn nice to see. And again, even you know, with the wheels here, they've staggered them. So they're two five fives at the front, they're two seven fives at the rear. You want to have that extra wide tire, you know, to get the grip in this thing. Uh, it is good, you know, and you just step into it. It just pulls, you know, it's got the torque, so it doesn't even really need to drop down a gear. It just starts carrying you, carrying those revs. Uh, yeah, it can move this thing. Now, zero to 100, guys, we are just pulling up on this back road. Unfortunately, out here in Victoria, it's starting to drizzle a bit now. So the road is damp, unfortunately, but this has got some weight. So we should be able to get some traction. We've got two 75s at the back and uh, there's no launch control or anything in this. It's just the six speed auto here. So I'm just gonna reset the draggy, have it in sport mode and uh, build the revs up slightly and take off. So here we go. Yep. Oh. Wow, that felt really quick actually. It did have a little bit of spin I think in first there, but geez, this thing pulls hard. And <laughs> yeah, in this kind of vehicle, it is just wild to be able to do that. Let's have a look at the time. Now zero to hundred guys was done in 5.1 seconds. And look, we were a little bit downhill, but again, it's starting to rain out here. We're just on a back road and we did have some tire slippage in first. So I reckon this thing would get, you know, 4.9, 4.8 on a nice day, perfect launch. Geez, for this big of a car, you know, NA power, that is really impressive. And, you know, just goes to show this thing is so awesome. You know, being the Grange, the HSV, the last one, the SV, yeah, this is really a treat. And of course, you know, being the Grange in the back seat, it's just full of luxury, you know, tons of leg room. You got TVs back there, keep the kids happy. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just old school luxury, this one. You know, it's not like a Merc or something Euro car. It's just, you know, good power, smooth trans, big, nice materials. That's the old school luxury this is about. Guys, in the comments, if you know any other facts about this Grange, we want to hear it because again, you know, there wasn't much stuff done on this when it came out. So it's relatively unknown. And uh, yeah, this, this is just a real treat to show off. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today, guys. So look, a huge thanks to the owner for bringing down his last ever, guys, Grange SV here. This HSV has been an absolute joy to see, show off for you guys here on the channel. And I can't thank him enough. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here, and we will see you on that next video.